Hey everybody, Josh here from Teach Yourself Websites. Today I'm going to take you through six tips to secure your WordPress installation and your WordPress login from hackers. So uh, security around WordPress is, is something that's very important. If you don't want your, your site to get hacked, um, follow those tips and, and you'll reduce the chances of that. So the first tip that I have for you today is uh, the keeping WordPress and your plugins up to date. So it's very easy on WordPress uh, to ignore any updates that come through. Um, if you go into your backend, you'll see this um, section on a dashboard with updates. And if there's any updates, it'll have a little number there of how many updates there are to do. You need to keep your, your WordPress installation especially um, up to date to the latest installation. Um, so at the time of, of recording this, it's 3.4.2. Um, and also any plugins and themes that are also out of date, they should be kept up to date as, as often as possible. Um, so if, if an update does come through, get onto it as, as soon as you can, and um, that will help keep things um, security conscious, especially with the, the core WordPress install. They, they make loads of security fixes every release, so um, you need to be on top of that. Number two is to change your administrator user login to something other than admin. Now, I'm a little bit guilty of this myself at times. Um, the default user when you install WordPress um, is the admin user. And you shouldn't really call your user admin, basically, because that's the default and everyone, uh, you know, just about everybody is going to have that, that username as their admin if it's a single user blog. So what you can do is you can go to the users area and add a new user. And we're just going to add ourselves again with a different username. So I'm just going to use a different email address because it won't let you create another user with the same email address. Can't even spell my name. Here we go. <laughs> so if I put in all my details here and put in my password. And you can also send that password to yourself um, by email. But the main thing here is to get the role right. So you need to make sure you select the administrator role and add that user. So now we've got two administrator users on the, on the, um, the WordPress installation. What we need to do is log out of the admin user and re-log in as the new user we just created. Okay, so now if we go back to the users area, what we can actually do, because we've created another administrator user, we have the power to be able to delete any other user, including admins. So now I can delete that original admin user. And you wanna make sure that your posts and links are attributed to the new user. If you don't do that and you select this one, it'll delete all the posts and links that you've created as that user, which is uh, not ideal if you've built up a bit of a, a backlog of posts. So make sure you attribute all your posts and links to the new user. Confirm deletion. And now that's deleted the, the admin user. I now just have my, my own user. Next tip I have for you is to install Login Lockdown plugin. This plugin is, it's been around for, a, for quite a while um, and it basically limits the number of attempts that a user can do to, to log into WordPress. So if you hit um, three inc incorrect attempts, it'll actually block you out of the system for you know, I think up to an hour or whatever you set as, a, as the default setting. So to install this plugin, go to your, your dashboard, go to the plugins area and add a new plugin and do a search for login lockdown and lockdown is a one word so the the first uh, result there there's a few different plugins um, of this kind um, but i find this one's pretty good uh, i've been using it for a while so activate that plugin 
and okay there we have it there and under settings you'll find login lockdown and this is where you can actually change the the periods of time for, for the lockout length or um, how many minutes until you can retry again and how many attempts you get so I like um, the default settings there so I'm just going to leave them as is the fourth tip I have for you is to choose a strong password so when you're um, setting up your your admin user in WordPress It'll, it has this strength indicator here and they give you a hint that you should have a password at least seven characters long to um, use a mix of uppercase and lowercase letters and numbers and especially symbols as well uh, increase the difficulty to uh, for hackers to be able to brute force attack your password so for example if I, I put in a a simple password um, your indicator is weak and then if I um, put in a stronger version I can get it all the way up to strong and that's where you want to sit on your your password difficulty the fifth tip I have for you is to check that your wp-config.php file which is located in the the base directory of your WordPress installation um, is using keys so by keys I mean these uh, authenticate authentication and um, and salt keys and this will uh, ensure that the encryption of any cookies that are used to store uh, login information and, and credentials are uh, encrypted uh, well enough so with these keys uh, if you went through the WordPress installation um, process to generate your your config file um, it'll automatically put in all the keys like this but if you uh, if you don't have these keys in here or if the, the keys aren't strong enough what you can do is come over to um, go to api.wordpress.org slash secret dash key slash 1.1 and if you just regenerate this page and refresh this page you'll see that it generates the keys for you and you can just copy and paste that into your WordPress um, config file and then upload that back up to your server. And my final tip number six is to have a good defense by backing up. So it's it's more of a proactive thing you can do. Um, I suggest you go and have a look at our database backup video. We show you how to um, install a plugin called WPDB Backup, which will make backups of your, your WordPress database and then email them to you. Um, you will also need to uh, use an FTP program like FileZilla to, to copy all your files and um, I recommend you do that once every couple of weeks just copy all the files down from your server um, and that way you get a fresh copy of, of anything if uh, things were to go um, pear-shaped if you don't want to go through that two-step process you can actually combine the two um, with a, a plugin called Backup Buddy by iThemes um, see the resources section for, for a link to that and Backup Buddy what it does is it combines copying all the files plus um, copying the, the database itself and you can have that ship directly to say a Dropbox installation uh, sorry Dropbox account or a Amazon S3 account or any of those kind of um, storage accounts so that's my six tips for securing your WordPress installation um, I hope you can follow along with all of those and um, make your WordPress install a lot more secure